welcome back. Stasa23 here, back again with some knife therapy. And uh, the knife I have in front of you today is one from a budget company that I've grown to love. And I, in my opinion, is the best budget knives for the money with the materials being used out there. And I know that's a bold statement, but it's, it's mainly because their quality control is consistent across the board. If there's an issue, there's usually an issue with all of them. So let's get into it. The knife I have in front of me today is the Tangram Vector. That is Kaiser's budget line, kind of like Spyderco's uh, bird line. And this knife is very, very impressive. Uh, first off, you have this classic drop point with a nice wedge up top, flat ground blade that goes um, about three quarters up the blade, kind of like in a slicer grind here. You have minimal billboarding. You have the Tangram logo, which I think is pretty nice. You have the model number, very long, and the Kudo, the JPN Acuto steel, which is, in my testing, pretty equivalent to 440C in that nature. Good steel. Uh, and I also, have, I've done a rope cutting test with the uh, Tangram Santa Fe, so you can go back and watch that if you want to see how well it did. Uh, the Vector... Uh, and it's a Kim Ning design. Uh, also, you do have a slight recurve in here. It's not a terrible recurve. I don't mind this as much. And they also have this guy in black. Whenever I saw it came out blue, blue's my favorite color. It's more like an electric blue. I decided to jump on it. Uh, I think on Amazon, which pretty, that's the only place that you can find these knives. They're trying to cut out the middleman to keep the prices down. I think this guy's $45. I will try to leave a link down to it uh, in the description box. Let's close it up. You have a very nice button lock, well executed. This button lock is, is swinging way above its league, I'll tell you that. I've seen some very high dollar knives with button locks this at, in this caliber, so... Very well done. It's recessed, so you're not going to accidentally uh, hit that button whenever you don't want to. You have, these are aluminum scales with this, I don't know, feather looking pattern on there. You have T8 Torx and uh, body screws. Very nice that you don't have to change out your, your tool. This side, you just have your stainless spring pocket clip with a lanyard hole. You have some nice hourglass uh, barrel spacers back here. You have some inset stainless liners that have uh, lightning holes in there. Very, very nice. Action on this guy is very, very smooth. Now, I have taken this guy apart, but before it was it was about almost as smooth. But um, once I cleaned it up and polished the washers, this guy is very, very smooth. Uh, you got a nice positive click on the button lock. Uh, it does break in. It's kind of like a sticky Benchmade at first. It did have a like kind of sticky uh, lock, but now that I've played with this thing and opened it 100 times, it's, it's a lot better. Um, the ergos on this guy are very nice. If I have a medium-sized hand, and it locks in right there and then just kind of wraps around. So if you have a large hand, this, this may not be the knife for you. Uh, and this grip is good. This grip is good. Now, I will say... This back of this pocket clip is kind of digging in right there, but only whenever I'm really, really bearing down, and it depends on how how I'm holding it. There's ways, like, you know, to hold it that I'm not, like, right there. It's not bothering me. Reverse grip, which I would never do, especially with this small of a knife, but there you go. Nice and comfortable. This finger does sit on the pocket clip, though. Uh, let's see. Access to the thumb stud is very nice. Uh, the thumb stud can bother me at times. It's kind of like that volcano style uh, thumb stud. You can middle finger flick this. You can uh, flick it out with your thumb. And you can do a nice slow roll action. Um, all their knives pretty much come dead on centered. No, no problems with that whatsoever. Like I said, the steel on this guy is good to go. Especially at the budget price that they sell them for. <clears throat> Let's do some quick size comparisons, and I'm going to tell you a few negatives before I end it up. So you have uh, the Boker FR. These two, it's, the Boker FR is a little bit smaller, especially in the handle and blade. 
There you go. Um, then we'll do it with the CRKT Jettison. The Jettison is a good bit bigger than the Vector. And then we'll go to the OpenL number 8. This is the stainless version. OpenL number 8 is a good bit bigger. And lastly, the CRKT Pilar. Um, there you go. All right, so what are some of the negatives? There's not a whole lot of negatives on this guy. The biggest one for me is this aluminum is rather slick, and especially when my hands start to get sweaty, uh, you don't have a whole lot of grip, which is kind of important because whenever you're doing a button lock, you're holding on to the scale right there, and you kind of give it a little flick. And when my hands are sweaty, I got to make sure I'm holding on to it a little bit tighter because I don't want this thing going out of my hands. And also, you know, it does have this, this, this deep choil, but I wouldn't do any thrusting cuts with this knife because, like I said, it's, it gets rather slippery whenever, um, whenever your hands are sweaty. Uh, I, I may try to do something to add some texture, maybe roughen up some of the high points on here. I don't know. Just, just some thought, because I like this knife a lot, and uh, you know that's the only thing I can think of to do to change it. If y'all have any suggestions, y'all let me know down below, and I'll definitely give them a shot. But y'all tell me what y'all overall thoughts are on the Vector. I think this is a beautiful knife. Love the blade shape. Cutting performance is nice. Uh, decently thin blade stock. Uh, decently thin behind the edge. I think I measured it at like 22 thousandths behind the edge, which is was good for me. <laughs> uh, great EDC size, perfect size for my hand. I, like I said, I have a medium size hand, so you know if you have a larger size hand, this might not be the knife for you. And if you work in a, in a really sweaty environment, you know just note that this this slick uh, aluminum may may cause some problems with grip and handling the knife. Um, so we'll wrap it up there if you have any questions, comments, concerns please leave them down below uh, if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up share it with all your friends and family and your social networks and if you like my videos in general hit that subscribe button and while you're at it hit that bell notification button on the right side of it that way you don't miss a thing if I haven't already done my giveaway you will be available for the giveaway alright guys and girls I'll see you all in the next one peace